Hello everyone and welcome to Zoe Budgets. Today we'll be doing a happy mail slash unboxing so if you're interested in watching please stay along. Hello everyone, hope we are all well. I was supposed to do this video yesterday but I didn't seem to have the time to actually film so we're just gonna do this today also just a heads up there will be no cash stuffing for tomorrow uh, a lot of things have been happening the last couple of days so which required you know money so yeah i just had to i'll try and figure out how i'm gonna work this out but there will definitely be a cash stuffing next week so, uh, saturday or sunday we'll see how we feel so first we'll just get into our first happy mail which is this one from the beautiful mean um oh she wrote me a little letter this is so sweet she even prayed a little prayer with me i don't know well, I feel like prayers are the best gifts anyone could ever give um, because, yeah, I just don't know how to explain it, but prayers, prayers really do work. And if you're not one to pray, I just, yeah, suggest so you give it a try and then, yeah, if, if it's for you, it is. If it's not, it's not. So, I ordered this. It's so hard to keep the stickers so pretty because they just end up, yeah. I ended up ordering some vinyl of her because because I needed vinyl <laughs> um, especially with the what's it called the new setup that I'm trying to do if that makes sense um, but I also ordered her beautiful um, what's it called the, her beautiful seasonal savings so these are the ones that I'm going to put in my seasonal binder and yeah i'll probably put that in on camera actually no i'll do it when i set up my binder um just let me know in the comments if you would want me to film me setting up my um big binder and my weekly binder but i'll explain what my weekly one is but i ordered her beautiful seasonal savings which is going to go into the seasonal savings one i also ordered some new envelopes which are these ones right here oh my gosh but these are the categories that will be in my big binder so my categories for my big binder are now new car which i love the color and whatnot home reno which that these two are already in there emergency fund is actually going to go into that one now a buffer instead of miscellaneous and my kids are both going to have two different um two different envelopes so that i can cash stuff them separately and then i also got um weekly vinyls so for the weekly vinyls uh if you don't know um, I did have a bills binder. I'm not sure if I'm going to use my bills binder or my... I actually can't remember what my other binder was called. So one of them I'm going to use for these right here. So with my income, because it's monthly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, divide the pay into four different weeks. Um, which means I will miss out on the fifth week, but I can ask hubby if he can just give me an x amount of funds just like how he has been to actually fund into the fifth week so yeah i hope that makes sense but this is from her which is super cute and yeah so this will be my weekly and my weekly binder which is going to have all my funds in it but then i'll catch stuff as each week goes by i hope that makes sense yeah so that's that there and then i have this this big one here let me just it's probably mixed with other things that i purchased not for myself so i'll just quickly open this up and i can already see 
got this. I was correct. I did not. Uh, I ordered these for my my babies. Um, not too sure when. It was actually to, to the wedding. Um, because they're on a good sale, the quality is probably not gonna fit the weather over there. But this was just if it's actually a nice day over there. So we're gonna have to purchase something warm for them to wear. I. As always, don't remember what I ordered. Oh, cool. I ordered these as well. Um, I just wanted some cute little dies or dice, dices, whatever you want to call it. So I just got these ones here, which I absolutely love the color. So I got keys. Oh, this is just for me, personal. Just for my hair. I got like that set with the comb and the brush and stuff like that I did get me some more stickers which I honestly for some what reason I love the quality of their stickers like like Timu stickers are so good quality I don't know I feel like these ones are definitely um not as yeah, they're not as thick as the last one. Um, let me see if I have it. Oh, yeah. As the last lot of stickers I received, these ones seem like, if you can kind of hear it, they're way thicker than, than these ones here. But I'm pretty sure it does the same job, but I just wanted some new stickers. I also got this, which I don't even know what it is. Um, I ordered. <gasps> yeah. Um, those. Uh, what's it called? The corner punches for the papers. Is that? Yeah, I'm sure that's what it's called. So, just like. I don't know why this receipt is in there, but. Like, for example, this is a bad example, Tanya, but... Oh, am I doing it the right way? Nope. I'm sure it's supposed to go that way. You know what? I'll figure it out. But this is one of those corner punches. I just really wanted one for when I start printing out. I really want to test it out properly. One moment, please. Okay, let's try this piece of sticky note to see. Oh, I don't think it's the one that I wanted. Not exactly the one I wanted. Yeah, no. Um, I'm probably using this wrong, but you guys can just tell me if I am. But if I'm not, then this um, must be a flop. Or maybe I need bigger paper. I don't know. Oh, it does clip it a little bit, but it's not that sharp. Okay, so I'm probably going to end up ordering a new one. <laughs> but that was a corner cutter that I wanted. This one here, I'm actually unsure as to... Oh! <gasps> I got... Um... Now I remember what this is. This is a this bound hold puncher. I hope this one's not a flop like that last one. <laughs> if it is, it's my fault. And that's what I get for shopping. Nah, jokes. Um, so this is supposed to be a disc bound puncher. Let me test it out. <gasps> it works, it works, it works. It works, it works. But yeah, so this is just for my big book that I um bought a while back, which is this one right here. Oh wow. Um yeah, if you can sorry, if you can see, um I don't have a stapler for this, but also we don't really have anyone that sells it in New Zealand. I couldn't find anyone. I was gonna order off Australia, but I just thought Timu would be more affordable which it actually was. I did find someone in Australia 
but I didn't end up, yeah. I didn't end up ordering from there. And then the last one is this box right here. Which if we... I hope this was the right one too that I wasn't. <gasps> so this is one of those... It'll probably hold a lot more pins than what is um, what my current pin holders can hold at the moment. That's so cute. I really wanted a new one, um, only because my setup might change. Because yeah, I think everything is just changing. I don't know. Just a little refresher, just so I can stay in the mood. This is so cool. I can't wait to put my pins in here, but. As soon as I fill this up with my pens, I'm going to have to hide it. Because if you know my kids, they know that this is going to go missing. Or they're going to break it for some odd reason. They're little kids, but they find a way to, to yeah, you know, mess things up. But you still love them. I still have faith in this little um, corner cutter here. So I just don't know if it's just me. Or if I just... Oh! So it's not actually one that can cut like the whole corner. It's like one that just does the... Just... Jazz... jazz English, please. It just does the corner right there. But it doesn't cut as nicely as I would like it to. But it works. I'm not going to waste my money though. I'm going to still use it. I'll find a way to make it make it work. So I'd say, what would I rate it? I would rate this uh, maybe a three. Three out of ten. Might as well give you guys a rating. This one I would definitely rate uh, eight out of ten. Only because I wish they had the longer ones. Oh, actually, they did have the longer ones, but I wasn't going to... I personally didn't want to pay a hundred and something dollars for one of those. I think this was on sale, and and it was about... How much was it? I'd say it was around at least $20, which is way better than what I was looking at. These stickers, obviously, 10 absolutely loved them. With these dices... I should give them a try. I'm so in love with these. I think these are the cutest dices ever. Am I gonna use them? Oh, probably not. But at least I have dice. So wow, that's so cool. I love watching people on their channels roll their dices. And do their savings challenges, but some of these numbers, yeah, no, can't even, can't even cater to those numbers. So these dies, I'll give it a, uh, if anything, I wish there had a bit more weight to it. Ooh, I sound like one of those, like, piggy people. But I'd give it a 8 out of 10. This I'd rate offline, off camera. Did I rate this one? If I didn't, um, because I don't have pens in it, I'll just give it a 7 out of 10 for now. I think that was... Oh! No! There's actually one more thing that I ordered. Which is... This! And this is actually going to be my new big baby binder! This is so cute. That was terrible. But this is so cute. This is going to be my new A5 binder. Should I try and put everything in it now? Or should I just wait? 
I'm gonna wait until I get um, the rest of my envelopes and stuff like that so I can set it all up with you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's got like the cutest little rings. It's not like um, the big ones, like, like these ones, these are big, but these are very cute and small. So I'm wondering if it's going to be all right with my bigger savings. We'll soon find out. But yeah, I'd break this because, well, for now because there's actually nothing in it. I'd rate it. Uh, the quality is... I love the texture of this. The feel of it on my hands. It's almost giving um, like suede vibes. Uh, but I'd give this a... Hmm. I'd actually give this a good 7 out of 10. I just don't know about the, the small rings and how it's going to work. But we'll soon find out anyway. But that's pretty much the last one for my Happy Mail. Uh, my other Happy Mail, um, I'll probably do the unboxing once it comes. But until then, we'll just have to hold on a little bit longer till I get to that part. But yeah. That pretty much sums up our video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little happy meal unboxing um please like comment subscribe if you want um if you enjoy my content um and yeah i hope everyone has an amazing weekend weekday whatever day it is in your country but i just hope you have an amazing one and yeah stay blessed thank you so much for watching bye